in that anointing, but Saul had failed to make the proper transition, was rejected by God, and now the anointing did not rest with him. Then there was tomorrow's king. David who represented the transition to the fresh, to the new, to the future. In every cave experience, there are two anointings. There are two kings. There is the old and there is the new. And it's up to us which one comes out of our cave experience. See, we can either come out, transition into the new and the fresh, or we can come out, reside to yesterday's anointing. Well, and see, if we resign to yesterday's anointing, we will live the rest of our life looking back. You ever met somebody like that, always talking about how it used to be? What God used to do? Well, he's still doing stuff how he used to move. At some point, we will all come to this place in our life. It's here that we must decide whether we're going to transition into the new or we're going to resign ourselves to the old. The old wasn't bad, but it's just time for a change. Saul had a genuine anointing, but it was time to change. Elijah had a great anointing, but it was time to change. Many of us have had a great anointing in our life, but it is time for change. It is time for transition. It is time to launch path into the new. When Elijah left that cave, he was a new man. He was fearless. Jezebel meant nothing to him anymore. He wasn't looking back. He had a new anointing. Yeah, yeah. Pastor, what changed in that circumstance? Did Jezebel change? No. Did Ahab change? No. Nothing changed outside the cave. You're going to get this right here. But the change took place inside the cave. Elijah changed. He transitioned from the old to the new and because he made the transition, he was able to pass it on to the next generation. And may I tell us today that in order for us to pass something on to the new generation, there has to be a change in us uh, that we can pass down to them. The change does not take place uh, on what happens outside, but what happens inside. There are many people who go through things in their life and they feel like if I just move, if I just go to Atlanta, or if I just go uh, down to New Orleans, if I just get out of Springfield, ain't nothing happening in Springfield. If I can just get out of Springfield, everything will be alright. That may be half true, but let me tell you something. It's not that Springfield needs to change, because if you take who you are out of Springfield and take it to Atlanta, you want to have the same thing happening in Atlanta that was happening in Springfield because you have not changed. And so the change is not what happens outside your cave. The change is what happens inside the cave. So the change has to take place in us. And maybe like Elijah, we feel like we're in a cave, like our life and our ministry are at a dead end. I've just come by to tell you that it's not a tomb, it's a womb. It's not the end, it's just the beginning of a brand new chapter in your life. And the enemy wants you to think that because he put a period there, that it is the end. God has the ability to erase the period, put a comma there, and say, this story is to be continued. Every time he thinks it's finished, God can say, I want to add on a new chapter. And is there anybody in here who's ready for a new chapter in your life, a new chapter in your health, a new chapter in your ministry, a new chapter in your relationship? I want to tell you that God has not taken his anointing from you. It's just time to transition to the new anointing. 
anointing to the fresh anointing. In actual fact, the cave is one of the greatest blessings that you could ever have because it's what transitions you into the new. The caterpillar would never make the transition into a beautiful butterfly had he never had to go through the confines of the cocoon. Had he never had to go through the cave experience, he would never transition from what he was into what he's going to be. And I'm here to tell somebody right now, you might be going through a difficult time in your life. You may be going through an anxious situation. You might be going through sickness in your body. You may be going through turmoil in your home, but your cave is not your tomb. It's just your womb. And what happens in the womb? Stuff comes out of the womb. Stuff is birthed out of the womb. This is your time for change. This is your time for newness. This is your time for freshness. Just look at somebody and tell them, I'm coming out of here. My God, uh, don't judge what I'm going to be by what I am right now. But I'm just like Diana Ross. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. Uh, slap somebody high five and tell them, I'm coming out of here. Bless him. Uh, God wants you to know that his mercies are brand new uh, every morning. Uh, bless his name. Uh, yesterday's gone. Uh, tomorrow may never be mine. Uh, but Lord, help me to take one day uh, at a time. Uh, and so I'm going to take this day uh, understanding that uh, that if I make it to tomorrow, uh, tomorrow will be uh, better than today. Uh, somebody ought to get like that song we sing uh, and kiss your past uh, goodbye. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye heartache. Uh, Goodbye turmoil, uh, goodbye confusion, uh, goodbye poverty, uh, goodbye bad relationship, uh, goodbye bad health. Uh, I'm coming out from the, of this cave, uh, and when I come out, from the, I'm coming out uh, with a greater anointing. Uh, I'm coming out slinging oil. Uh, I'm coming out from the, with a praise on my lips. And the, I'm coming out. Uh, with my hands lifted up uh, I'm coming out uh, with a new dance and, uh, I'm coming out and, uh, with a new shout and, uh, I'm coming out and, uh, with a new anointing uh, I'm coming out uh, with more power uh, I'm coming out uh, say it I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. But just grab somebody, push them, push them, look at them, and say, get up out the cage. Get, 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 get up out the, get up off that couch. Uh, get up off that seat or do nothing. Uh, you're coming out of this. Uh, come on out that depression. Uh, you're not going to be here all the time. Uh, this is just temporary. Uh, you ought to start praising God uh, right now uh, for where God uh, is going to bring you to. Uh, yeah. Let me, let me quit here. Let me quit here. Just pull somebody. Pull them. They're still looking sad. They, they're still looking depressed. I, I tell them I don't know what's on your mind. Don't know what you've been through. Don't know what the doctor's report says. I don't know if you got a shut off notice. I don't know if you're being foreclosed on. I don't know if you're getting a repossession. I don't know if she just left you. I don't know if you walked away. But I want to tell you, there's light at the end of this tunnel. There's an opening. 
into this cave. Uh, grab them, pull on them, uh, and say, get up out of here. Uh, you're coming out. Of the, we're coming out. Uh, yeah! Well, somebody ought to praise him for the come out. Somebody ought to praise him for the come out. I, Everybody stand, everyone.